Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. Welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how you can fly quick approaches using the just released experimental version of iFly 737 MAX 8 on MSFS 2024. For that, you will, use, you will have to use FSI Panel 2024 Advanced Edition. And as it is an experimental uh, aircraft, then FSI Panel will also Take it as experimental. I've been flying a couple of approaches already. Everything works perfectly well. So feel free to go ahead and give it a shot. I will show you all the steps that are required in order to be on final within a couple of seconds and to fly this beautiful bird. So before I forget, please subscribe to the channel. All right, so let's see what we have to do. So as always with FSI panel, the first thing you want to do is select the correct aircraft, take the livery that you want to fly, and then select the aircraft, sorry, the airport where you want to fly. So why not Los Angeles as I'm flying down there tomorrow? So just to have a look, so Los Angeles, and we can choose any runway. Let's go for runway 24 right. This is the runway that overfly the in and out where you have beautiful burgers if you've never been there. So that's a very nice place to have burgers. All right, so Los Angeles, 24 right, click start flight, and we we'll see what we have to do in the aircraft. Okay, aircraft is loading. Weather is not too good today in Los Angeles. And we just need to click on ready to fly. So what I found out with the iFly Max guys is that the aircraft is starting on the runway with the engine uh, spooling up. So basically you just need to wait until you have a stable aircraft and then put the generator on the bus. If you don't do it, FSI panel will do it but I highly suggest you just to wait a couple of seconds. And then once you see that your engines are nicely started here, you can go ahead and put the generator on the bus, left engine, right engine, engine one and two. And now that's all we need to do in the cockpit. Flight control, this is here or your damper. If you don't do it, FSI panel will do it. So nothing else to be done. One thing optional, but I highly suggest you to do is to set your training weight because now we have loaded with the uh, default weight. So if you want to change the weight, if you want to practice with an heavy aircraft or a light aircraft, go into your EFB, performance and payload. You go to weight and balance and here you can load your aircraft. So let's say today I would like to do some landings with 140 passengers, set the payload. And then for the fuel, I will take around five tons of fuel. So this is where you type in on the total fuel, five tons. Good, click anywhere so you see the repartition, 2,500 on tank one, 2,500 on main tank two, and then don't forget to hit set fuel. Now, as you can see, we have five tons of fuel and we are ready to start FSI panel. So as you can see, the lights are not set. We have nothing in the engine, start continuous. We still have the flaps up. So basically we just loaded the aircraft here in Los Angeles on runway 24 right. So before we start FSI panel, always remember to make sure your in-game module is enabled click on the symbol here and now you can see FSI panel message status connecting. So here we can start FSI panel. Okay, here we go. When FSI panel starts, it will detect the aircraft. So that will take a couple of seconds and then make sure you see iFly 737 MAX 8. Now you have the live weather airport, the live, sorry, uh, weather at the airport right now. This is the latest METAR from LAX. And you can see here the weather that we will have. The altimeter setting is 2988. We are in Los Angeles on runway 24 right. If you want to change the runway, just click on runway and select any runway you want. I will just continue on runway 24 right. If you want to practice short final, long final, vectors, or whatever you want, everything is open on this aircraft. So for that demonstration here, I'm just going to try a short final. And you can see the summary. We should be on the ILS runway 24 right at four nautical miles and the altitude will be 1,100 feet MSL, which is roughly about 1,000 feet AGL in LA. Right, so we are ready to go. So I'm going to click Move Aircraft, and there we will see what FSI panel will do for us and how long it takes to be on final in LAX. So Move Aircraft, then we will go back in the simulator. Here we go. So FSI panel is taking the control. So the first thing you will see, and this is the longest part in this uh, preparation, is your flaps moving to flaps 30 or approach flaps. So that will take around 15 seconds. And as soon as this is done, then FSI panel will bring the aircraft in the air. Make sure you don't touch anything during the process. 
until FSI panel gives you the control. So we are reaching flaps 30, as you can see, and here we go. So we are in the air. Now you will see the autopilot mode. FSI panel will set everything for you and get the autopilot. It will set the lights. We will see that in a couple of seconds. The continuous. It will arm the speed brake as well. And now it's working on the uh, FMC. So inserting the weight, the cost index, the cruise altitude, it will insert the landing speed. And then FSI panel will wait for the aircraft to stabilize at 1,100 feet to give you the control. So if we look outside now, what we can see is our beautiful MAX-8 in a landing configuration on short final in LAX runway 24 right. So wow. once we are stable, you can see alt acquired, then FSI panel will give us the control. So let's see that happening now. 1100, FSI panel will sense that everything looks stable. And the message you will see on the top left corner is aircraft ready. Audio break for three seconds to take control. All right, so now we are in a position freeze. It's the right moment to set anything you need. If you want to set the minimum, you can go ahead and set your minimum. FSI panel didn't set any approach. So very easy to set an approach here. Just have to go departure arrival, LAX, and we are going for the ILS 24 right. Legs, activate, execute, and just make sure you put the waypoint in front of you. So which in that case on short final is on way to four right. If you do that, then you're going to have enough capability in case you go around. It's not required, but it's nice to do. All right. So now that we have set everything, whenever we feel confident, we can go ahead and hit the brake for three seconds. One, two and three seconds. And we are flying. You have control. I just need to arm the approach. Engage second autopilot if needed. And as you can see, we are Voglock captured. Elnav is armed for the go around. Glide slope is armed and we will get established into the glide slope. So glide slope captured. Missed approach altitude 2000 feet is set. And if we look at our aircraft, we can see that all the lights have been set. We have the engine start switches to continuous. So we have the landing elevation. We have the speed brake armed. So basically you just need to land the aircraft. So I'm just going to land the aircraft here, and after that, we will look at the landing report, and I will show you how you can repeat the same approach very easily without having to go back, even in FSI panel, if you don't want to look at the report, or if you don't want to click on any button in FSI panel, you can bring the flows and repeat the exact same approach. All right, so we are reaching 500 feet. Everything looks stable here. So I will try to disconnect auto throttle. That worked and autopilot comes off and let's see how this aircraft flies. The idea is to cross the threshold at 50 feet. This is the burger place right there, guys. So if you go to LAX, this is where you can sit and you will see perfect landings. So I said perfect landing, some look pressure and I have to make a nice landing here. 100. Okay, so center line. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Slightly right, and here we go. Touchdown, speed brake up, reversers normal. Good. So let's stop here on the runway, and we're gonna have a look at the landing report to see how we performed, and then I will show you how you can repeat the same approach again. All right, let's bring FSI panel. Here we go, you get a landing summary after each landing. So you can see that the landing distance is green. We were within the limit. So everything is green, so that's a good news. We were stable on the uh, approach speed. And if you want the full landing report, you could just click on the full landing report. And then you will get your Fly 737 MAX 8, the runway you landed, the wind that you had, the temperature, and you will get as I, as I told you, I was a little bit right of the center line, so this is something to train. The landing distance, how uh, was the landing uh, in terms of uh, rate of descent? It was 76 feet, so that was good, but it would have been better to be on the center line and have a uh, harder landing. And then you can see that I landed with flaps 30, auto brake 2. I disconnected the autopilot at 870 feet, and my maximum localizer, glide slope deviation, everything is there for you guys, you can see how you perform with the localized on glide slope tracking. If you want to save it to print it later on, just click on that button right here 
and that's it now it's available in fsi panel if you go to setup landing report you will find them so setup landing report and there you can bring it again and or trash it or open it again if you want to print it all right so let's go back in our aircraft we just landed as you can see i didn't retract the speed brake my flaps are still 40. i have the auto brake which is just disarmed as you can see here so we will try now to repeat the same landing i would like to try again so what i need to do is bring the flows so for that you have either a keyboard combination or one of your controller can be assigned to the uh, flow and then you select repeat same training so i click on repeat same training and then fsi panel takes control and will bring us back in the air here we go and again when fsi panel has the control do not touch anything you can see that fsi panel is working we should see the uh, speed brake retracting auto brake has been reset now the fmc is reset you can see that all the autopilot mode have been reset and we will be ready as soon as the aircraft stabilize at 1100. if you see that it takes a little bit too long you see that your vertical speed is 350 feet this is something feel free to do it just increase your rate of descent that will increase here and it will be uh, easier and faster not easier but faster so that's something you could do if you want to make it a little bit faster so we are reaching now the altitude 1100 1, fsi panel will sense that everything is correct alt card aircraft ready all your brake for three seconds and off we go so again if you don't want to use the fmc if you just want to practice landing go ahead you already have your approach speed as you can see you already have the altitude you have the glide slope everything is set for you so you are in the landing configuration if you plan to uh, go around maybe then i would suggest you again very easy just go in the part arrival then select the ILS runway 24 right where you are. Just execute that by going to legs to activate it. And then just put the waypoint that is in front of you. The next one is runway 24 right. Put it on top of your FMC, execute, and that's it. Then you can see that LNAV is already armed in case of go around. And now you're ready to fly the second approach in a row, holding the brake one, two, and three seconds and i can arm the approach and engage the second autopilot and that's it as easy as good as that guys you can fly approaches with the ifly 737 max 8 you can position the aircraft and in downwind vectors final play around with it have a landing report and all the flows are as well available so if you're used to the flows you can use it from before start all the way to landing and after landing as well as shutdown sorry parking procedure so feel free to uh, train on that beautiful iFly 737 MAX 8. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, wish you all the best. And I'll be off a couple of days now in LAX. So see you soon for another training session. And please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.